So in the previous video, we introduced the sum of the squares, s, x, x, okay? And I've referred to, a couple of videos ago, the standard deviation. So where does that come in? Because this isn't the whole story. So the next part is looking at uh, ways that I can use this data. Because I said that, on average, because I wanted to work out how far each point away was each point was away from the mean on average so it makes sense that i would want to find um, this take this value rather and find the average of it because this would be like adding them all together so then i want to divide by n so divide by how many there are so this is known as the mean square deviation. So the mean square deviation, which is abbreviated to MSD, is equal to SXX, the sum of the squares, dividing by N. OK? So that is the mean of the squares. Okay, and tells you how much they deviate away from the mean. However, it's not particularly useful because this gives us quite a large number. So if I do 74 divided by uh, 5, we get 14.8. Now, it doesn't make much sense to say, well, on average, the data is 14.8 away from the mean. OK, because clearly none of the points are 14.8 away from the mean. None of them are anywhere close to that. So really, this doesn't tell us an awful lot. It's only because of this process here, where I squared each of the numbers, that made those numbers a lot larger. So, in order to reverse the process, we need to square root. And that's where the root mean square deviation comes in. Otherwise referred to as the RMSD. So this is the square root of the mean square deviation. So if I now square root that answer, we actually get 3.85 to two decimal places. Now 3.85, that makes a little bit more sense. So on average, the data is 3.85 away from the mean. Okay, And that gives us a way of assessing or looking at the data and comparing different sets of data. So the root mean square deviation is what you want to use if you're just looking at a, dis a distinct set of numbers. OK? Um, and so if I was just looking at five numbers like this, or if I was looking at the two examples in uh, the first video in this section, so the two sets of data, this is what I would use. Now, neither of these are the standard deviation, still. So where does that fit in? Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, uh, conceptually. Because when we're using um, this process, what we're usually doing is looking at a sample of a large set of data. Okay, so for example, I might be looking at um, I don't know the weights of uh, rabbits in the UK. Okay, now if I wanted to estimate the mean and a way of um, determining how spread out the data is, which we'll call the standard deviation. Um, if I want to estimate that, then I can't measure the weight of every rabbit in the UK. 
Okay, so what I would do is I would pick a sample and the mean weight that I get from that sample will be a relatively good estimator of the population weight. Okay, um, And obviously the more in the sample, the better it will be. But that will be a good estimator and an unbiased estimator at that. However, when you're looking at the uh, deviation, this value here and this value, neither of them give a good estimate. They're not quite there with their estimate for the population um, root mean square deviation and mean square deviation. They're not quite there. And so, as it turns out, what gives a better approximation and an unbiased estimator is instead of dividing by n, we divide by n minus 1. Now, I'm not going to go into the great detail as to why this happens, because it is quite a complicated concept. But what you need to understand is that we work out, we divide by n minus 1, and we call this the variance. So the variance is SXX divided by n minus 1. OK, so that's our 74 divided by, in this case, 4. And that's 18.5. And the square root of this is the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is the square root of SXX over N minus 1. So square root, that answer, and that gets me 4.30 to two decimal places. So in other words, if this was a sample of a parent population, then this would be an unbiased estimator for the population deviation, whereas this would not be. Okay, So if you're asked to find the standard deviation, you must remember that you are dividing by n minus 1. But if you're asked to find the root mean square deviation, which, to be honest, in the exam is rarer but can still come up, you must divide by n, okay? And that's roughly what they mean, okay? And we're going to see more of this in the coming videos.